Streams in the Desert, Volume 1, by Elizabeth Kalman. November 21st. Roll on Jehovah thy way. Psalm 37 6. Whatever it is that presses thee, go tell the Father, put the whole matter over into his hand, and so shalt thou be freed from that dividing, perplexing care that the world is full of. When thou art either to do or suffer anything, when thou art about any purpose or business, go tell God of it and acquaint him with it yes, burden him with it, and thou hast done for matter of caring, no more care, but quiet sweet diligence in thy duty, and dependence on him for the carriage of thy matters. Roll thy cares, and thyself with them, as one burden, all on thy God. Are laden. Build a little fence of trust around today. Fill the space with loving work and therein stay. Look not through the sheltering bars upon tomorrow. God will help thee bear what comes of joy or sorrow. Mary Butts. We shall find it impossible to commit our way unto the Lord, unless it be a way that he approves. It is only by faith that a man can commit his way unto the Lord, if there be the slightest doubt in the heart that our way is not a good one, faith will refuse to have anything to do with it. This committing of our way must be continuous, not a single act. However extraordinary and unexpected may seem to be his guidance, however near the precipice he may take you, you are not to snatch the guiding reins out of his hands. Are we willing to have all our ways submitted to God, for him to pronounce judgment on them? There is nothing a Christian needs to be more scrutinizing about than about his confirmed habits and views. He is too apt to take for granted the divine approbation of them. Why are some Christians so anxious, so fearful? Evidently because they have not left their way with the Lord. They took it to him, but brought it away with them again. Selected.